Is your kid watching CSI on TV and wants to be a crime scene investigator? Continue watching the video for a review of the Forensic Science Lab Crime Scene Science Kit by Wild Environmental Science. Hello science parents. Today we're looking at the Forensic Science Lab Kit. It's rated for ages 8 plus and it's a pretty hefty box with 66 pieces inside. I got it off of Amazon for $35. I've seen it cheaper. And there's a link in the description below if you want to buy it. Let's pop the lid open and take a look. The instruction manual is very clearly laid out. There's seven or eight different activities. Each activity is divided into three sections. One explains the science behind the activity, such as how fingerprints work or DNA analysis. The second part of the activity is for the parent to secretly set up the crime scene, such as planting DNA evidence on clothes or leaving fingerprints or a secret invisible message. And then the main section of the activity is for the child to use the techniques provided in this forensic kit and to solve the mystery and the crime. It's very well designed. Inside the box, they've divided the activities into handy bags. Fingerprint analysis, DNA and chromatography, chemical analysis, and invisible ink. There's also a plastic measuring jug. And just for the fun of it, a strip of crime scene tape because you can't play CSI without some crime scene tape. Inside the invisible ink bag are some cotton buds, a pair of tweezers, a pipette, and some universal indicator paper. Inside the chemical analysis bag, are five test tubes, some labels for labeling the test tube, two scoops, two stirring sticks, a bottle of citric acid, and a bottle of sodium bicarbonate. Inside the DNA chromatography bag is some chromatography paper, plastic cylinder, and two water-based marker pens. Inside the fingerprint bag is a bag of cornstarch, a little magnifying glass, Some sticky tape, an ink pad, pressing thumb or fingers into, some cotton wool buds, and a UV flashlight, an invisible ink marker. This has a battery inside, which apparently is not replaceable. Inside the footprint analysis bag, is a huge bag of plaster of Paris, a spoon, stirring sticks, pencil, series of tracing paper protected inside this cardboard, and a sheet of plastic slides. Let's do some science. For this, we need a test tube, bag of cornstarch, sticky tape, scissors, plastic slide, 
some sticky labels, cotton buds, pen, tweezers, the ink pad and the magnifying glass. I'm going to use this Pyrex bowl as the crime scene, which maybe would normally be a mirror or a glass. And then I'm going to leave some fingerprints. We're going to take the little sampling tube and almost fill it to the top with cornstarch. And like all good scientists, we're going to label our tube. Back at the lab, we're going to take our cornstarch. And a fresh untouched cotton bud. which we're going to dip into the cornstarch to coat it. And then the trick is to not touch the fingerprints, but to lightly dust them. What I'm doing is just shaking the cornstarch onto my fingerprints. Then you need to blow away the excess cornstarch so that it just adheres to the fingerprints. Then I'm going to use strips of tape and I'm going to try. Lift off some of these fingerprints. And with each one, I'm going to stick it onto this plastic slide to preserve it. Let's do one more. So we're going to take this tape. Now I have two slides of fingerprints. We should be able to analyze these fingerprints with the magnifying glass. It's very hard to achieve on camera. At this point, now you're supposed to collect the fingerprints of your suspects to compare against the fingerprints you found at the crime scene. Take prints for each person and place them on the little book. That's way too dark. So you would go around your household collecting a full set of fingerprints. And now you should have a page of all your suspects. At this point, what your budding CSI is supposed to do is to analyze these fingerprints and take note of the pattern of the fingerprint. And then you would analyze this fingerprint and compare the ridges against the ones that are on the tape of the fingerprints you lifted off the crime scene. And theoretically, you should be able to Identify the criminal. We're going to attempt to find the poison at the crime scene, which in this activity is simulated by acidic or alkaline solutions. So for this, we need sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, that's our acidic and alkaline solutions. We're going to need indicator strips, pair of scissors, 
tweezers, two little spoons, and three test tubes. So first, we're going to add one spoon or half a spoon of sodium bicarbonate to one of these tubes. And then we're going to add the citric acid to another one of the tubes, carefully not reusing the same measuring spoon, of course. And then the third one, we're going to leave neutral. And now we're going to add water to all three tubes. About three quarters of the way up. And of course, the one without any chemicals is just pure water. Then we're going to seal these tubes. And these two we're going to shake to get the powder into solution. So what we're going to do is take an indicator strip. And then we're going to compare the color to this chart. Well, that looks like a definite acidic color. And finally, that is very clearly alkaline. Therefore, we can assume that this first sample we took, neutral is here, so we can assume that this is plain water. So we know that that is not the poison, and one of the others, or both of the others, would definitely be suspicious. There's plenty inside there to keep you and your CSI kids busy. Some of the activities are a little tricky, so I recommend you take your time. So, what did I think of it? The instructions, I'd give a solid five. The 23-page booklet is in full color and explains every activity in great detail. There's also color charts and workbooks for your convenience. Experiments four. They've done a great job of bringing in a variety of forensic activities, and I particularly like the way they've involved the parent or the teacher in setting up the crime scene ahead of time for the kids to solve the puzzles. The science, I'd give a 3.5. There's several pages in the instruction booklet devoted to the science behind forensics, but as usual, I'd like to see more. Quality four, there's a lot in this box and much of it can be kept for future experiments. There's a couple of odd omissions. For example, there's an activity that requires three different marker pens and they give you two, and I'll ask you to provide the third. Overall, solid four. They've done a great job of bringing the science of forensics to kids in a very fun way. Great job. Let me know in the comments below if there's any particular STEM kits you'd like me to take a look at. In the meantime, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.